on the second pitch. Hunter fires a fastball, and Perez rips into it for a long drive to left field. It's going, going, gone for a home run into the left field bleachers. Perez hit 17 homers the first half of the season for the Reds, and this one gives Tony an added big thrill. And now the National League leads. It's Ray from Philly here on this Tuesday night, May 22nd, 2018. Got a card in the mail today, and this is for my post-war rookie Hall of Fame PSA set registry. That set holds uh, 99 cards in the set, and this here is my 53rd card of the set. So let's get the cracking on this. This is my second favorite set next to the uh, Mike Payne set, 300 great cards. And uh, this is a really, really awesome looking card. It's a uh, 1965 Topps Tony Perez rookie. It's in the New Life House holder and a PSA 6, which is a good collector's grade for the 60s. I'm all about the centering and the centering on this is really well. And there's the back. And it has also Kevin Collins on there and Dave Ricketts, who I don't know who they are. But there's Mr. Perez over there from the Big Red Machine. Really nice looking card. It's my 53rd card of that set. I really like the post-war Rookie Hall of Fame set. I have a few more cards to get on my 300 great cards to move up from 9th to 8th. And once I do that, then I'm going to be doing more focus on this set, the post-war Rookie, which is a great set. All right. Um, while I'm at it, I mean, I just, and it's really weird that I've got this car because I just met Tony Perez, me and my son Ray Ray did about a month ago. And we got, uh, we got in the sign the ball, Tony Perez, Hall of Fame 2000. Really nice guy. Super nice guy. I remember when he came to the Phillies in 83, helped us win the pennant in 83. We got Joe Morgan and Tony Perez that year with Pete Rose already on the team. So let me uh, flip the phone around, give you guys a closer look, and read some stats for this great Hall of Famer. Hold on, you. Okay, here it is. Again, it's the 65 Tops National League Rookie Stars with Tony Perez and a PSA 6. And um, time for the perfect fit sleeve. Then I'll register this tonight. Again, this is my 53rd card of the set. Really great set to do if you guys are interested in doing that. It's the post-war rookie Hall of Fame set. So that means it starts from 1948. Since the war ended in 45, there's no cards in 45, 46, or 47. So the first year is 48. And uh, some of Tony's stats, he has a 279 career batting average. And 2,732 hits, which is awesome. 379 career homers. And this is a big number, 1,652 RBIs. And um, he was a manager as, as well. And people forget that, and I forgot that as well. He was a seven-time All-Star as a player. <clears throat> Had his number 24 retired with the Big Red Machine. And was inducted into the Hall of Fame in the year 2000. So I met Tony uh, at Cooperstown in 1995 when Schmidt was getting inducted. He was in a store across the street from the museum. And just uh, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Just a super, super nice person. And deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. So there you have it. My 1965 tops Tony Perez rookie for the uh, post-war rookie Hall of Fame set. I appreciate all your likes and comments, guys, and uh, I'll see you again later on this week with more PSA graded cards. So keep on collecting. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.